All right, good morning, everybody. Today is the first KBF Western Trail event, Lake Folsom. Uh, yesterday I got out and got on the water for about five hours. Drove all through the night, left San Diego at about midnight, got here at about 8.30 a.m., stopped my grandparents real quick, dropped off the rods. I didn't want any rods with me because I knew that if I brought them, I would fish, and I don't want to fish the day before the tournament. So all I did, paddled around, found some areas. The toughest part about this lake is everything uh, looks like you should be throwing a crankbait at it. I mean, there's boulders and rock piles every 10 feet. I wish I would have got some practice, but it is what it is. Um, go over what I have. Uh, I think I brought like 15, I left two, and then I ended up rigging up 13, and I can't convince myself to leave any, so kind of go over what I got going on. Um, I have five crankbaits. Crankbaits are my strength, and it's my confidence bait, so I got uh, River to Sea, the Tactical Bassin, dives to 18 feet, that's going to be my deeper crank today. I've got a uh, Rapala DT14 tied on, and Demon Craw. I've got a Spro Rock Crawler tied on and the peanut butter jelly. Um, so that's going to be my like 9 to 14 feet. Obviously my DT14 will go to 14 feet and then my Tactical bass will go to 18. And then getting shallower I have a DT10 tied on, Rapala DT10 and then a Rapala DT6. So some balsa baits, some tight wiggles for this water temperature. Water temperature is right now 52 to 54. So. Um, hopefully those produce for me after that I've got an Alabama rig and for those of you that watch my channel you know I have zero confidence in it but I know it gets bit out here so I've got that tied on um, maybe I catch my first Alabama rig fish today uh, we'll see let's see what else uh, I have two micro jigs two little tiny finesse jigs one made by uh, Kitech and then the other is made, it's the brand new Mike Iconelli by Missile Baits. Uh, it's a little football jig. And then I've got real tiny little trailers, a pack of chunk on one, and then a, a little Missile Baits like drop shot looking crawdad on the other one. Um, real narrow like worm type body. Um, I've got a regular Ned, which I did not bring a drop shot rod set up, but that's going to be the rod to where if they're not biting the Ned for whatever reason, I'll switch to a drop shot. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be fishing finesse today and I'm going to go big or go home with the crankbait and see what I can do but if I if there's three hours left in the tournament and I haven't got bit on any reaction I gotta switch over to finesse and that's always tough for me um, let's see what else do we have I've got a five inch Cinco I, I always 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 throw the six inch but today I'm going after five 12 inch fish because it's been so tough out here so smaller profile maybe get those uh spotted bass and those smallies to, to come up and hit it a uh, real light wire hook on it so it, it's going to fall a lot slower i want that thing to fall really slow and i've got it in the natural shad colors is the cinco's that i brought um i have a finesse swim bait a little guppy head for those of you that watch tactical bassin a little guppy head a 2.8 kai tech i'm just going to drag that thing on the bottom that's on a, that's on my third spinning setup um let's see what else I have the jerkbait, uh, Vision 110 plus one jerkbait tied on, which I sh I'll probably end up not throwing that as much as I should, to be completely honest. I always forget about the jerkbait when I'm throwing crankbaits, but I need to definitely uh, fire that jerkbait out there and just see a real slow cadence is what I'll be going for. And, um, you know, getting that thing to suspend and just being patient. Just wait, wait, wait. You know, twitch, twitch, pause, and just let that pause go because this water temperature is still pretty cool. Um, like I said, I got the two jigs. And then I have a chatterbait and a spinnerbait rod. Right now, it's got a spinnerbait tied on. Um, very. If any of you guys watch the MLF, Jacob Wheeler one with an accent spinnerbait, that's a new one that hasn't been released, but he has an older one um, that's lighter. It's the half ounce version of the bigger one that he fished and won with. Um, I've had that spinnerbait for a while now and I've had good success with it it's a chartreuse and white and then I've got a strike king rage shad on the back of that so I'm pretty sure that covers everything that I brought I got 30 minutes to get out on the water so I'm gonna go start loading up 
and hopefully I've got good content to follow. spot um, didn't have to go very far that American flag right there is where we launched from got a few guys in my area so I'm talking kind of quiet but plan on cranking these rock piles right here and all these hazard buoys is just full of rocks it's right next to the launch I plan on going south today and which is that way the wind is also pushing south so I'm gonna stay here keep the wind on my back and let the wind kind of drift me down south to where I want to go. And uh, obviously, you got an island right there full of rocks, and this whole area is full of rocks, all the way down to about 14 feet. Got tight on the Spro Rock Crawler, so we'll dive 9 to 14, so we'll be beating this thing up. It's brand new. It shouldn't look brand new by the time I'm done with it, but hopefully we could pull at least one fish off this rock pile had some cloud coverage but um that's kind of burning off and we can't cast yet got another like 15 minutes till we can cast so now we're just sitting and waiting stay tuned I saw, I watched that smallmouth come up and eat it. Um, I was reeling the crankbait back in and this water's so clear, I'm in eight feet. And I look down and I see him come out of nowhere and he stops to not bite it. And then I uh, kill the crankbait completely and let it start floating up and he comes up and smacks it. So, pretty wild. I'm gonna get out of this area and uh, anchor real fast. It's a smallie. Uh, I don't like measuring smallies. They scare the crap out of me because they don't like to lay on the board flat. Alright, 
Let's get the release. Man, that fish kicked my ass. Goodbye, buddy. Sorry it took you so long to do that. Alright guys, uh, I guess a little mini update, but as you guys can see, we were supposed to have 7 to 11 winds to the south right now, and it is dead calm. I mean, zero wind, and all week, all day, yesterday I was checking the winds, and that's why I wanted the crank, because it was going to be 7 to 11. Figured there'd be a good jerkbait crankbait bite. Well, after this morning, there was wind for about an hour and it's been completely flat since. So, unfortunately, I have got to go to finesse. I can't crank in this, it's just too calm. So, I'm gonna throw the Ned Rig a little TRD. I never throw the Ned Rig. Um, I broke off my little Kitek 2.8. And I'll probably end up tying a drop shot on that rod. It's just really hard to drag uh, a 2.8 around with a exposed head. It just snagged so much. Got it snagged like three times and finally it broke. So I'm um, gonna work this Ned on these rocks right here and then hopefully this wind starts to kick up and I know that sounds crazy, but I need it. Alright guys, noon update. Uh, there is finally a little bit of wind. As you guys can see, not much. Maybe three, three miles per hour, four miles per hour, but I had switched over to the drop shot, I'd switched over to the Ned, and I just, uh, it's brutal. I don't know how you guys do it. You finesse fishermen are a different breed, we'll put it that way. So, got no bites on the Ned, no bites on the drop shot, and uh, just got this wind up, and I'm just praying that this is going to make them start biting, see if they turn on, and uh, would be nice to finish and get four more on a crankbait bite, but I went from confidence being pretty high this morning after that crankbait fish and then all of a sudden just complete weather change and no wind at all so started to feel a little bit of a breeze look down it was exactly noon so i thought i'd give you guys an update still only have the one smallmouth 16 inches um, and right now it's just grind time there's about four and a half hours left in the tournament so there's still time I just need, I would prefer to have wind like this, so stay tuned. Alright guys, just caught this fish. No idea why the GoPro was turning off. Um, I found a, a school below me in like 33 feet, dropped down on him and finally got one to go. This could be the turning point that I need. It's really hard for me to stay on this uh, this spot though. I keep having to adjust my kayak. It's too deep for my anchor. So I'm paddling, I'm dropping down, I'm paddling, dropping down, wind's blowing me back. But finally got one to go. Look at how fat that fish is speeding up. Man, that is just hard. 
Wow. It's a fat 15 and a half. That's what they're after right there. Number four. Alright guys, I know that's kind of a strange way to end the video, but I had camera issues and at that point I didn't have a lot of time left in the tournament, like 30 minutes left, so I didn't bother fixing it. Um, I didn't catch fish number 5, ended up with 4 fish, and the um, video has already gone a lot longer than I expected it to. And I was going to add a tournament recap, but I'm just going to make a tournament recap for the next video. So you guys stay tuned for that video. I'll probably put it up either the following day from this video or two days after. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys thought. Thank you.